Let's welcome in Georgia Congressman and member of the House Subcommittee on the Pandemic, Rich McCormick. Good morning, Congressman. So I know you'll be in the room today. What are you hoping to hear from Dr. Fauci? Well, I'm hoping to hear the truth. I don't have great expectation for that, though, since he has not been honest with us from the very beginning. I'm an ER doctor, and I was serving during the entire pandemic, and I don't remember Dr. Fauci serving any COVID patients, and yet they censored me. They threatened my license. They threatened other physicians. They poisoned the well when it came to actually doing legitimate scientific studies, and then they called it ideological bullshit. This is from Fauci's own mouth. Uh, talking about anybody who had any objections to any COVID vaccinations, and then we find out they're actually having financial gain from this. That's outrageous. I hope they'll hold them accountable. Can you take yeah. me through what holding him accountable would actually look like? <laughs> this is a guy who literally could be held in, in contempt because he's lied to us. Uh, this is a guy who's actually, in my opinion, cost people lives uh, and absolute consequences to their health. Uh, Set our children back in school. Helped, helped us uh, divide ourselves and, and mistrust government from here on out. Uh, he's done tremendous damage to our entire society. And, and I would love to see the book thrown out. I'd love to see him put in jail. I'd love to see him financially suffer. But I really start to, dep I, I really depend on the Department of Justice for this. And that makes me have great doubt. Yeah. So my question, basically, you know, it's pretty clear that Democrats, you know, I'm talking about from the White House right on down, have no problem going after Republicans. Look at what happened with Donald Trump last week mm -hmm. in that case and the connections between the people that were prosecuting the former president and the White House. Matt Colangelo, former number three at the DOJ, Alvin Bragg, a George Soros funded DA who mm -hmm. campaigned on getting Donald Trump. That's exactly what he did. Um, would you consider, would your committee consider holding Dr. Fauci in contempt of Congress and, and pushing charges to the, the Biden run Justice Department? Absolutely. That's why we have lawyers involved. That's why they've read literally 45,000 pages of emails. I'm glad I'm not a lawyer. Uh, I hope we do hold him accountable. I hope we do hold him in contempt. And I hope he is uh, going to absolutely have some consequences in the future. So as you mentioned earlier, you're the only sitting member of Congress that has actually treated COVID-19 patients. What's your reaction to him admitting that the masks for kids and social distancing were not based on science? He even said he doesn't know where the six feet social distancing even came from. So this is exactly what I'm worried about. This is what I hope, if nothing else, that we get out of these hearings is that government will use any sort of emergency, any sort of dilemma to grab more power, to actually take away something from us, the people. When the government gets determined what's moral, what's right, what your medical conditions are treated with, whether you can travel, whether your business can be open or closed, or who you hire or fire, that is not American. And that's what this fight is really about. And that's what we're trying to expose so that it never happens again. Yeah, yeah I, I just want to go through what OpenTheBooks.com was able to uncover. So the NIH, Dr. Fauci was, of course, the head of the NIH. Mm -hmm. um, scientists, including Dr. Fauci, collected the number's almost a billion dollars. And that number's not in dispute. The exact number, right around $710 million in royalties over a two-year period. Guess what? The two-year period mm -hmm. when the vaccines came out, 2021 through 2023. And the majority of that money was paid in royalties to these scientists from pharmaceutical companies, like the same companies mm -hmm. that pushed the vaccine and all the boosters on us. How is that right? How is that okay? The more we pull on the string, the more it unravels. It's not just the money that came from the pharmaceuticals, but actually from our United States government, from grants, from people who lied uh, on their applications about what they were doing the money, where this actual disease came from and how it was studied. When you start to really get down into the ultimate corruption of this, it is on multiple levels, both uh, private and government. It needs to be exposed. People need to go to jail. People need to be held accountable. Right. People died as a result of this. People were harmed as a result of this. People were restricted. Our children suffered. Our educational system, our society was torn apart over something that should never have been politicized in the first place. And, and Congressman, am I, am I correct in assuming, I know Dr. Fauci admitted to your committee that he is open to the possibility that COVID came from the lab that builds coronaviruses like a mile and a half away from that wet market. Um, they tested something like 5,000 different animals, pangolins. We heard a lot about pangolins back in 2020. Um, so far, no evidence that this came from nature. Uh, all evidence points towards the coronavirus laboratory right up the road from where coronavirus came from. Anybody who's trying to stick to the idea that it came from an animal species is not paying attention to science at all. We keep on talking about, I want to talk about science. I want to talk about the legitimacy of facts. 
if it was in an animal reservoir, they would have found it by now. It would still be existing. It doesn't just go away magically. Right. Because it's species specific. Mm -hmm. It doesn't belong to any other species except for us. There was a lab that said they're going to do gain of function uh, and, and they actually have emails to talk about it. We have people who have disappeared. We have no transparency in the Wuhan lab and we know where it came from. We know where this came from. It's all science leads to the same fact. And the fact that he denied that for so long just tells me how corrupt he is, yeah. how much he tried to cover this up. Yeah. And another thing, he needs to be held accountable. The, the Wuhan yeah. Institute of Virology mm. is less than two miles from this wet market where they claim this whole thing started in Wuhan, China, a couple years ago. For whatever reason, Dr. Fauci is unable, incapable, or he just doesn't want to admit that this thing came from a lab and not from the, these pangolins that magically appeared and disappeared all in the same day. It's crazy to me. We'll be watching yeah. today, Congressman. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Have a great day. We'll go get them. Okay.